evening all and welcome back to Kerbalism where we are just about to fire our engine and uh, put ourselves into orbit of the moon. Now I'm not really sure where I want to land this rover. It kind of needs to go everywhere so I think so long as it lands like here somewhere we'll be good. So yeah. Um. I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. I am a little concerned on fuel here because we are a bit low. But this engine is way more efficient than this one. It just doesn't have as many ignitions. So I think... To land, to land on the moon from orbit of the moon uh let me just double check there that was good enough to me uh so we're in low orbit of the moon to land is 640 meters a second okay which is a lot of fuel now if i shut down that engine and enable that one uh and then put it down here. Boom. It's not actually telling me how much delta V I've got left. Um, and I think that's because we are control. Uh, let's turn off ACS. Uh, so it doesn't go flying around. Let's control from here. That did not work. Uh, okay, so it's not it's not actually telling me what we've got here, which is annoying. Oh there we go. There we go. Right, so we've got a thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight um meters a second using this here. So if I transfer the fuel over to this one. Then we shut down this engine and we activate this engine. Uh, what did you. Oh, yeah. Let me drag this over, drag that one out. Do, 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 do. This has still got this tank and this tank for fuel in it. So if we get rid of that one. That one, there we go. So it's still got those two there. Um, which I think I could put all into that central tank and it would probably be fine. I think it would all saw in there. So we've got 956 meters a second. That's, that includes this end here. When we detach this, we won't have that. So it'll be even more delta V. Um, but I kind of don't want to waste any delta V. That's the problem. Because um, if I... Oh, if I drop that engine out there, damn it. Put this one in there. This is 560. That's all that's left in there. But then we won't have this section. When we come back up again. In fact, we won't have any of this section here. We'll just have this part here. I've really got to hope that has enough in it. there is an engine in there I did figure out it's got enough to get back up whether it's got enough to maneuver and dock I don't know but what, what I'm more concerned about here is that if I do this we've got 959 but that's with this if I disconnect this that's gonna have way more fuel in it and uh, we don't need that much we only need 640 so what if I take it down to 640 now if we fill this tank completely and empty that one and then we'll fill that tank uh. hmm. interesting why can't I fill that tank And 
and we'll go down to there. 646 meters a second. And then if we undock this and leave this one up here in orbit, so we'll undock. Oh, we still have 646. No, we don't. No, we have 1,142. Because of uh, how it works. So, yeah, so that was way more, way more than we needed. So, let me redock this. Oh, if I can, uh, the magnet's going to be good enough. Oh, there we go. Right. And. I'm going to muck about until I undock and I end up with about 700 meters a second of total fuel and uh, we will be right back once I've done that because it's going to take a while of me changing fuel around, undocking, docking again and figuring it out, so back in a moment. Okay, so I've docked, undocked, changed a few things, blah blah blah, and I'm going to end up 846, which is close enough as far as I'm concerned. Uh, trying to get these balanced is really difficult uh, i've got to fill one tank empty one tank change around blah, blah, blah. but but yeah so our fuel one is just in orbit going around there it's not in a in, in stable orbit it's in an elliptical orbit which is a little annoying but but it's fine uh but we have enough fuel to land and that is what we're going to do so let's just fire the engine And uh, put us down somewhere. I think right here looks good. So we'll bring the blue line down to. Yep, that looks good. That's good to me. Obviously, uh, I was going to say Mars then. No, the moon will rotate around. Although the moon is. Is the moon hardly locked? I don't know. I think it is. So by landing here, the moon is going that way around, so we'll end up with the most sun being where we are, so, so that's good. Okay. So right, let's deploy our wheels, shall we? A bump. And There we go. don't know why that was locked. How strange. Uh, so yeah, so we'll deploy our... What? what? Locked. Engage. Unlock. Hmm. How strange. We had some... Uh, some issues going on there. Right, so let's disengage the engine and lock them. And then do the same here. Disengage the engine. Lock. There we go. Okay, okay. And uh, let's look at our landing system here. And we have 1 minute 31 until our. Well, sorry, 1 minute 13 is our suicide burn length. And we have 1 minute 29. Interesting. Interesting. We that our suicide burn countdown is going up. Don't understand that. It shouldn't be going up, it should be coming down. Unless. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Oh, there we go. So now minus that's five. Oh, I think it's it's changing on the terrain here. The terrain is going up and down. So okay, so that means our impact time is in two minutes, and I'll but so we're going to figure this out via ourselves because it looks like the system isn't working properly. So as long as the impact time is above the burn length and the burn length is below the delta v length, we're fine. We have no problem at all. I'm going to make sure that does not get above 1 minute 30. If it does, we've got problems. We don't have any spare fuel. We have got 
RCS, which may help. And even if we land a little bit heavy, it may not be such a bad thing. Um, because we have an engineer to repair the wheels if something goes terribly wrong. So, hmm, I suppose we'll see. I suppose we'll see. Let's look here. This also may be freaking out because it's going to land like in a really bad location, or it's already figured out that we don't have enough fuel to land. There's the arch. There's the arch. I've, I don't think I've ever visited that, or I've never found it randomly. Um, Oh, we have an impact time here. That's good. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never discovered it randomly. I've always had to actually go searching for it. When I have discovered it, I've always had to look up places. So there's our first port call. That's where we're going to go. Okay, and I don't think we have the Delta V to land. I think that is a bit of a problem because we're, yeah, I think we're having issues here but I can use RCS as well so that's not a big problem so I'm going to fire the engine now and uh, hopefully slow us down a bit the idea at least anyway that is wiggling can we turn off the gimbal or can we turn down the gimbal on this engine There we go, that looks better. Right, and what I might do as well is turn on RCS and actually use that to fire forward as well, holding the H to fire forward. It'll cap out a little bit more of our speed. I can drop down the thrust as well okay so the these are looking good these are looking good You get a little bit of a double whammy with the RCS as well because it slows you down a little bit, not a great deal. It's not that effective. Uh, on Mimus it would be more. But also you're burning off weight, which means your engine actually become more efficient. So, yeah, it's much, much better. But generally everything. Okay, let's fire up the engines a bit more. Let's fire them full whack because it says we're going to crash in just a moment. We don't want that. We do not want that. There we go. Right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, oh, turn the RCS back off. Okay, it looks like we're going to have about 130 meters a second left. 120. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Uh, I would like to point radial out now, if you don't mind. And uh, touch down nice and gently. and there we go got the engine land on the bell not ideal but it's fine we'll push ourselves forward use rcs to hopefully land a bit gentler than that oh that was hard oh but nothing broke nothing broke we are here we are not as rear end heavy as we were on Mimus. So that's fine. That's that's all good. Okay. Uh, we have landed on the moon. We we have Kerbals on the moon again. Relax is missing a resource. I need to transfer Bob uh, to the science bay. Is that correct? 
Missing a resource. What are you missing? What's wrong? Missing resource. What? What resource? Landed biomes. Operation scientist. Sample size is 15 slots. Ooh. I don't know how many slots I actually put on this. Six slots there. 44 slots. I'm... Wow. 2,000 tons takes 95 days. Oh, it needs ore. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, we can't do that. We can't do that. I didn't bring an, 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 an uh, a, a drill. It needs ore. Relax requires ore. Okay, and take some. Yeah, that's 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 a base. That's setting up a base. That's fine. That's fine. That's not a problem. We have got our crew port and our, our bits and pieces going there. So that's fine. So that means um, I'm going to transfer you back to. No, you can you can stay in the lab actually. No, stay in the lab. Stay, stay in the lab. It's fine. It's fine. You're you're just as safe in there as you are in the front. It doesn't matter. But we do have the arm. So we could go looking for um example rocks. Now I have no idea what they look like on the moon. We've landed in the big crater rather than Oh no, 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 there's the big crater. Uh but yeah, so we're getting it from the highlands. I suppose we should go into the crater and then also we should go uh, and find the arch again which was over here wasn't it somewhere the arch was this way somewhere can't see it now a bit far away yeah I can't make it out but I know it's, it's around here Somewhere, because that's where we came in from. So we came flying down here and we saw the arch over there. So I can go and find that, and I would like to go and find that, but I would also like to go into the crater. Okay, right. Let's get that done. I don't want to get Jeb out, or Bill, or Bob, or whoever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not really want to get Bob out from there, actually, now I think about it. Um, so I am going to transfer Bob back into the front. Okay, and uh, as was pointed out on another video as well, uh, I didn't plant flag, which apparently would have helped with experience. Uh, I do know that you get a flag. Um, oh, bonk. <laughs> this is not Nimbus. Uh, that everyone gets the experience, no matter who uh, gets out the craft. If one per one Kerbal gets out the craft, everyone in the craft gets the same experience. But um, obviously, planting a flag is a big thing, so we can do that. I also want to have a look at some rocks. That rock over there looks interesting. Uh, moon landing. Um, moon sighting. Yay. There we go. Um, that's a normal rock. Okay. I'm wondering whether they're on the edge of craters, just like they are on Mimus. Things like this, I don't know. They just look different. But we're kind of facing that way, so I kind of want to go that way. So let's zoom the camera out going that way. See if there's anything interesting. Tiny rock there. I don't know. I don't know if there are lunar rocks they can just pick up. I suppose I'm just going to have to go over. Ah! Ooh, what's that? That was something. I don't know what that is. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's. That's our first... Our first looky looky. Um, I should put a ladder on this because I don't. I don't think it's it's going to use a lot more. Uh... Oh, 
RCS to get around. We should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. So I might as well turn off relax. Because that doesn't. Or oh, I could leave it on. Doesn't make a difference. I might just in the lab on. Because that takes forever to do the samples. And we will be bringing the samples back with us. That's, that's the idea. So let's go over there, shall we? I do have Bon Voyage installed on this, so I can use that to move around a lot quicker than just driving around normally. Which is fine. Now I'm going to make sure I don't travel too fast anywhere as well, because we're going to tap our rear end on the ground. And I do kind of want to save this. Um, I know it's only a little bit of fuel, but it might help get up one of these mountains. So, yeah. Okay, let's go down there. Let's uh, add a tiny bit of trim. Uh, I don't really want that. No, that. Thank you. Limb? Rotation? What? I'm talking about automatic mode. Add a tiny, tiny bit of trim to the yaw, so the ship steers to the right. So it's rolling down, it automatically steer to the right. Which is exactly what I want. Now the moon is going to be a bit more forgiving uh, driving around the Mimus because it's got more gravity. So it's actually going to be a bit easier to drive around. On, on Mimus we were bouncing all over the place and causing problems, so a bit of a pain, but... Maybe here we could even time warp and find out. Don't know. I'm not going to risk it yet. I'm going to go over here first and have a look. And another good way to find rocks that you actually can pick up is uh, running into them. You see, is, can you see how that that rock there looks different to the rest? Um, but yeah, if you run into one of these rocks that you can actually pick up. Oh, okay. So there's the engine gone. Fair enough. Didn't need that anyway. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I, th I thought that might happen, but yeah, these, these features and the rocks you can pick up, you actually run into, they're, they're solid, so uh, that really does give you something else to kind of do, turn over quite hard, and I'm using the trim to do it, because if you, if you turn yourself, the wheels just turn really sharp. Um, and if you use the trim, they don't turn as sharp, so it's a bit more forgiving. So, we'll come to a stop here. I'm just going to show how I scan this one here, and then I'm going to start driving around and, and, and doing, doing what I'm doing as normal. Um, Reverse along here, if you don't mind. The other thing about doing it yourself as well is you are using the reaction wheels to move the craft as well. Whereas with your system, I, I think you still are. I think the reaction wheels are still something that's, that they, they are used, but because they're not on as strongly, it's not so bad. I mean, I could turn off the reaction wheel set into SES only, but then if the craft starts flipping over, it causes all sorts of issues and. Yeah. So you just leave it like this and just uh, do it. Also, I could set up the. Uh, oh, oh, bloody hell! Stop! 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 That's a problem. That's a big problem. I didn't set the brakes up properly. Damn it! That's a huge problem. We've just smashed all our food off. Um, we have eight days of food and water left. Okay, that's not that's not terrible. That's that's not terrible. Okay, water isn't a problem as well. We we can get that. We've got a water regenerator. That's not a problem. Food is, but it's not impossible. I mean, eight days is a bit. I, mm, yeah. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Turn the traction control down helps the crafter. Helps the wheels get more grip faster. Come on brakes, come on brakes, what's going on? You're at 100%. Oh. Right, um. Scan, scan the crater. Okay, awesome. It's supposed to, oh, we do need that. We do need that. Uh, that. That is important. So we'll have to pick that back up. And because uh, otherwise we can't get home. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a bit of scanning, which I've never done before. Awesome. Awesome. We have new things. That's good. That's good. I am just concerned. Um, the last crater is barely visible. Not in space is available. Come back later with a better sensor. Okay, so we got 80 science for that. That's cool. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay, so we can go back and uh, uh, put the brakes on here. Gonna hold us there. Really weird why the brakes were not working. Hmm. Okay, uh, Bill, there you go. Your expertise are required. Okay. I need you to pick up that. Hopefully carry it on your back. There is a way to do it. So, uh, kerbal attachment system. Hold G to grab. And then hold H. I can't attach it to the kerbal. Okay. Oh, there we go. We've transferred loads of stuff back. I don't like doing this with dropping them on the floor because I've had things explode on me before and I really like that. Uh, what about if we go, not that inventory. We want the other inventory. Where's the other? There, that one. Kerbal inventory and the game inventory are two totally different things. So if we hold G and then you click and drag and then drop. Too big. Too big, damn it. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. So if we... Grab this. There is a way to attach things to like the back of the curl, but I don't. As you see, there's only a certain distance they can move things. And I don't want to put it on top of something and drop it down. Because if it explodes, we've got a big problem, a real big problem. Come on. Grab. Put it down there. Please don't explode. Please don't. What the hell? Grab. Down there. What? 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 Grab. What is going on? What is going on? What? Oh. Don't tell me you can't get out of there. Oh, no. Roll forward. Roll towards Bob. Stop. Stop your damn thing. Stop. Okay, okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to turn the brakes up to 200%. Okay, right. Bob, grab that, hold H, you're not attaching it to a node, but you, as long as it's attached somewhere in the centre there, <gasps> right, we're screwed. We're going to have to send a, 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 a repair crew down. A, um, we're going to have to send down a craft that's got some extra supplies on it and uh, another attachment system and then get away from this crater because there's something gone wrong with this crater. I think the hitbox on it is actually larger than it is so it's caused us to, to crash which is not ideal. That's obviously a problem. Um, yeah right so let's do one last thing let's go over and have a look at this rock over here 
There's a rock right there. I don't know if YouTube actually lets you see that there. There's a sparky thing there, and I think it is a rock. It's different this one. Let's not walk faster. Oh, okay, that's fine. Moon landing, yay. Um so yeah, so let's let's go over there. Uh wait, you're a decoupler too? Really? Well, I had no intention of decoupling you. Uh actually I'm gonna leave that there just in case I press space one mistake. Gives me a uh, a freebie. I'll go over there. And um and yeah, so 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 next episode we will send another rescue craft over to here. Uh, we can still drive around on the moon doing bits pieces. Um but we'll just we'll just send a little tiny one that can um come over, land on the moon, somewhere near them. And then we can grab the the bits and pieces off of it we need, fit them to the craft, and uh carry on with the mission uh, but I, I I can't remember how long it takes to get to it's only like eight hours in it it's like a couple day to get to the moon so that's not so bad it's, it, it's um I think so I think it's, it's a day to get here so so if we send a mission now and it gets here in a day and then lands, then we attach everything to it, everything's fine. And if that goes wrong, we've still got seven, six or seven days left to abort this, launch this back up into orbit. And I don't know how to get it home. Because we have no way of attaching it. Okay, but that is definitely a rock we can pick up. Definitely a rock. So yeah, so let's uh, have a looky here, see what the moon rock is. We've probably got some contracts to pick up moon rocks or something, but we haven't picked up the contract yet, so. Not really of any use having the contract if you're not having the rock if you haven't got the contract, but it's worth the science, definitely worth the science. and stop stop the wheels don't lock up that it did on miss or, or even on Kerbin. the wheels just locked up interesting very very interesting maybe we need to turn up the friction control or something don't know uh anyway um bob you're the scientist hey you get down you get come on do, 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 do. Bump. and we've got the surface sample yeah we have uh, so instead of plant flag we go over here to the rock and it will say pick up moonstone there we go tappy tappy tap moonstone found yay there we go and we can get 120 science if we return this back to carbon moon rock seems like they're seems like they'll make excellent paper breaks all this gives us clues to the history of this planet and others but whose papers aren't going to weigh themselves those papers aren't going to weigh Awesome. Right. Okie dokie. So, yes, it looks like a rescue mission is uh, on the cards. In you get. There we go. Safe and sound. Right. So, let's go. Of course, you can't see the moon arches. I don't think I don't think it's close enough to us anymore. I think we've we've gone out of range on it. But I know it's up there somewhere. So that's where we're gonna travel. We're gonna travel. Let's let's say bon voyage. Bon voyage. Pick on the map. Would you go here? Yeah, that's still the highlands. 
Midlands, East Crater. Let's go to the East Crater. Then we can drive up to the Midlands, and then we should be able to see it from roughly there. Okay, uh, go. There we go. And that can travel all the way along, doing its bits and pieces. And then next episode, we will send up a rescue craft for it. Well, not a rescue craft, a supply mission to it. And uh, then we can sort of take it from there. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. Mm -hmm.